So um, this work is called Crimson Topaz and uh, has been created in 2021 during the pandemic. So the genesis of this work was quite complex because uh, we were forced to be at home in isolation and uh, as you know, all the other artists, uh, I was forced to set up a particular environment and um, to create a new studio space which was different from my usual um, studio. So I used my living room as my space and I started to, to think and um, and uh, brainstorming the idea of a new body of work for the exhibition. It wasn't really easy. The inspiration uh, wasn't actually just like coming very, very quickly as most of the time. And, um, and uh, what happened was actually quite, quite interesting. I was, I was looking outside and, um, and suddenly I, I just like my, my eyes caught this image of a terrace in the building and there were this fabric that were moving slowly with the wind and then this was my inspiration so um, working with the uh, with birds and butterflies in my work as the main source of inspiration i i started from from that and then developed a different concept so I wanted my work to be more 3D and I used the fabric as external element to enhance this, uh, um, this meaning. And in fact, this, this work is tactile. You can, you can touch fabric and uh, you can see that it's different from all the other works that have been produced so far. And uh, the blue is the color that is dominant in the composition. And um, as most of the butterflies, especially the morph butterflies from the rainforest, they have this blue uh, microstructure in their wings that are playing with the wave lights to create this beautiful blue iridescent color. And uh, in my painting, this is one of the elements that is uh, um, crucial. And yes, yeah, so it, it, it was really, really exciting uh, uh, work, you know, from, from the beginning and during working on that, to try to understand, to fix all the small um, problems that were arising during work. And um, definitely, I think that uh, um, my work is, is becoming more 3D. So I'm kind of like looking forward to see what, what can happen after, after this particular historical moment. And yes, yeah, so this is uh, Crimson Topper and uh, I hope you enjoy the work.